In this video, let's see how an XRPL address, which is not in control of issuer, receive XTP. Basically, it involves two steps. The first step is to establish a trust line with the issuer and then any address which holds the token that is XTP in this case can send XTP to that address. Let's consider a scenario wherein you announced about your token and the first 100 people who submit their R address will get your token for free. In that case, they can't just submit their R address and, and expect you to send XTP because they have to establish a trust line with the issuer account. Only then you can send the XTP to their address, right? So in this video, I'll show you the two-step process to receive any token on XRP Ledger. Let me create a new account. Maybe it's a customer account. It's not controlled by the issuer. So let me create that. Now let's see how to transfer XTP from operational address to any customer's account. Okay, for that the primary requirement to transfer any of your token to any of the addresses in the XRP ledger is that that address should be willing to hold your, your token. Uh, unlike in Ethereum, if you have ERC20 token and you could just send it to any Ethereum address, it doesn't work like that in XRP ledger the account should be willing to hold your token which the willingness is expressed by setting up the trust line and the limit uh, the number of tokens it's willing to hold so let's check that so to to set up a trust line everything remains same the payload remains the same uh, first let's change the secret so remember this address belongs to a customer random customer so let's use his secret to sign the payload. Uh, we need to copy the sequence number associated with that address. And then uh, let's even change the limit here. This customer is willing to hold a maximum of 10 XTP. That's the limit of risk he is willing to take with this issuer because this issuer might just go out of business or something might happen. The, it, the limit depends upon the trust you build up, okay? So this sets up the trust line between the customer and the issuing address. This is the first step again. And now let's send the XTP from operational address to the customer's address. The payload remains same. The currency is XTP, issuer is, we know the issuer address and value, we need to pass it from the command line. So let's do that. So the command is node, the file is present inside dist folder and the file name is index. So we have a family seed, uh, which belongs to operational address. Let me copy that. This is operational address. We are sending XTP from this address. So to sign the payload, we need secret of operational address. And the destination address is that of a customer who has established trust line with the issuer account. And then the limit the user, the customer has set is 10 XTP. Now remember the operational address has 100 XTP. That's the balance right now. We will check back on that after making this transaction. We'll be sending 5 XTP to the customer. So let's see how it works out. But before making the transaction, let's get back to the page which shows the balance of XTP on operational address. So let us click here. So the total balance of XTP on operational address is 100, right? So let's make this transaction that is send phi XTP to the customer. Let us do that first and then go back and check on the balance of operational address once again. So this transaction was successful. You can copy the transaction ID and check with it. So for us, let's get back to this page and, and refresh it and again check the balance of this operational address. It should be 95, right? It had 100 XTP and it sent 5 XTP to a customer and the transaction detail is also present here. Please go through your note uh, wherein this is the issuing address. 
this is the operational address and this is the customer's address. Look at this, this is the customer's address. You sent five XTP, XTP dot the issuing address to the customer, okay? So this is the whole transaction. So in XRP Ledger to hold any token, the owner of the account should perform the first step that is to establish a trust line with the issuing account. Only then someone can send those token to the address which has the trust line. In the next video, let's see how to retrieve trust line information from the public ledger.